So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and uh, finally a chance to show off the competition entries and to announce who is the winner for the giveaway of a 50 euro um, paint voucher from Scale 75 who've kindly sponsored this giveaway. Um, so just to recap, basically I asked uh, anybody who wanted to, um, to send in pictures of before and after of a paint uh, project. Um, basically had about a month to do it. Um, had a, a smallish number of entries, but some very nice ones in there. And the Id whole idea was basically to encourage every style of painter. So I didn't just want the pro painters, I wanted people who just were fresh picking up the brush or those who weren't terribly confident picking up the brush to have a go at it. Um, send me a picture of what it looked like raw so that um, basically so I knew that it was something you'd painted in that time period rather than uh, something you'd had on the shelf for months and months and months um, and obviously the after picture and at the end of I well I'm going to show off everybody's entries um, and just take a chance to have a look at those entries and see what people think and then I'm going to randomly draw one of the entries uh, to win the voucher Anyway, let's go and have a look. So the first uh, picture I'm going to show is uh, this one. This is from Jake, uh, or old school FRP, as you see his tag on many of the comments on various channels around and about. Um, this is his uh, modern Soviet infantry or sort group with their vehicle, um, 1980s Soviets. Um, it's from the assault group company. Uh, well, they are from the assault group company. So the actually the armor personnel carrier is a 3D print. It looks a very nice 3D print. Now he mentions that I can just about see the the sort of uh, filaments on it, but it's very well done, really well done. Um, he basically said it was a, a, a five-part model rescaled to one to fifty-six. So a lot of work gone into that. Um, he scratch built the um, LMG because uh, the barrel broke on the original one. Uh, it's really nicely done and experimented with uh, army painters pulling urethane based shade for the first time. So really nice job and a nice first entry. Thanks very much. So this entry is from Chris uh, Richards. Um, it is actually a 54 mil uh, old historics old guard officer. Um, I think he's done a really nice job with this. You see some wonderful tones around the uh, the colours. The face looks brilliant particularly. I always tr struggle with faces myself so good to see that pro that job. So thank you very much indeed for sending that one in Chris. Much appreciated. So this is the infamous Beckus. Um, Paul Beckus sent this one in. This is his uh, camel core, Anzac camel core in 28mm from Eureka Miniatures. Uh, he just when he sent them in, he just finished them. I know he did a little video, I think, talking about these. Uh, really, really good. Love the character of them. Particularly love that guy in the centre there. Um, sort of looks like he's going tally ho. He's got his rifle up, and some of the other guys look um, behind him on the right there. On yeah, on his right, looks a little less nerve, a little less uh, in control of his camel. Uh, fantastic models. Really nice to see. Thanks, Beckus, for sending that in. So I didn't say it was a, a, a picture-taking competition, so apologies for the quality of this one. Um, Matt uh, sent this in. Um, he's uh, been working on these 10 millimeter Russians by uh, Pendragon. Really nice figures, and he said it makes a real change from doing 28 millimeter War of the Roses and 6 millimeter ACW. Um, like that, I love those bushes on those bases. I think they look really, really cool. Really good job. So. He sent me a few pictures. I have to say this was the best, clearest one of the lot. Uh, but nicely, nice entry. Thank you very much indeed, Matt, who's also all the sixes. Next one is Craig Roberts, uh, who sent this one in. Um, no details on what this is. It looks like a commando. Don't know which manufacturer it is, but I like the effort on the uh, on the camo on the on the trooper. I, again, it's something I find really really tough to do the camo. Um, but nicely done, nicely done, and thank you for the entry, Craig. So a little bit more um, <laughs> marmitey, I guess. This one, this is Andre Fouche, uh, man on YouTube. 
Uh, he sent this in. He sent in several of these uh, basically casualty bases that he'd done of US airborne casualties there from Black Tree Designs. Um, uh, you like your blood, don't you, Andre? <laughs> Gee whiz. Um, always nice to have some casualty markers on troops. I, I'm beginning to use more and more of them uh, in my games just to get away from counters. Um, so there you go, that's Andre's entry. So this entry is um, from Nick Brown. Um, really, really cool. I mean, just high quality paint job. Um, I think that's uh, part of his Bavarian army that he's pulling together at the moment for sharp practice. Um, I guess that's a Dragoon or Chevalier. I'm not quite sure. Not in, into my uh, Brun uh, Bavarians as much as anything else, but I love the job, paint job on that really high quality. Um, and I'm pretty sure that uh, all those uh, diamonds and also the uh, symbol on the uh, on the the cloth, the horse cloth, is all hand drawn. So really nice job indeed, Nick. Thanks for sending that one in. From one high quality paint uh, job of a cavalryman, here's another one. This is Paul uh, Paul Mackay uh, sent this one, and it's to represent the charge of the first cuirassiers at Waterloo. Not sure I approve of the uh, poor old Brit on the ground below them, but um, yeah, you can't you can't beat a heavy cavalry charge. I think really nicely done. Um, the one on the right looks like he's had a little bit too much um, French sausage, uh, but uh, that's the model, not the paint job. <laughs> but really nice to see. Uh, you can't beat a decent Napoleonic cavalry scene, that is for sure. So what I love about uh, this competition is all the different types of figures that people are working on all the time, and it's, it's something you hear all the time on, on the plastic crack and uh, through the channels. Uh, just so many... Um, Variety, such a big variety of, uh, of projects that people are working on. So this is from Frank, Frank Ruter. I think his handle is Frank's Miniatures. Um, and this is uh, a 120 millimeter German mortar, Second World War. Um, it's Dendra 6268, uh, which I think, I don't know what scale it is. Is it 148th, something like that? Looks like it could be. Um, I love the the officer there looking at his uh, his watch, ready to signal when the barrage is due to start. Um, and the guy on the right has already got his his ears covered just in case for the explosion that's uh, about to happen from that thing. Nice nice job. So this is Tim's entry. He sent this in. It's um, uh, a V and V miniatures via our uh, plastic crack uh, sponsor Messrs Mini. Uh, this is an Anglo-Saxon. A resin model. Um, he used Vallejo and contrast paints to do it um, and it's come out quite nicely, really quite nicely. Um, good job there Tim, thanks for sending that one in. So I think this is the final entry. Entry. This is David Sims or Simmons, sorry. Um, this is his flight of um, ME109Es for uh, the Blood Red Skies game. Uh, beautiful job. I really like these. They're so well done um i mean they're, they're such small models to get that sort of hot quality paint job on them is very very impressive indeed so absolutely delighted with that one thank you very much indeed so that was all the entries so i guess now we need to do the draw so i'll come back and we'll do that live well live as i'm doing it not as you're seeing it how about that back in a minute okay so we had uh, 11 entries into this competition uh, or this giveaway and um, I have uh, basically found this uh, random wheel picker random number wheel picker uh, which you put in different numbers in so I put in 11 on here um, and we'll basically go in the order we just showed so whoever whoever's um, whatever number comes up to corresponds to the orders we've just shown will win that voucher so let's spin 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 Good luck. Oh, that goes quick. So the lucky number is number eight. Number eight. Well done, number eight. So that is number eight is Paul Mackay, um, who's sent in these lovely caresses. Uh, much as I disapprove of the uh, Englishman on the ground, um, he was picked by that random picker. So congratulations, Paul. 
I will send you an email um, saying uh, you are the winner and um, putting you in touch with uh, Scale 75. In fact, I'll probably give Scale 75 your details um, and get them to send you the voucher. However we'll work it, we'll work a way of doing it, whichever way around it is, we'll get make sure you get that voucher. But thank you everyone else who entered, much, much appreciated. Thank you for doing it. Um, hopefully encouraged a few of you to get painting. Um, for those of you who didn't enter, why not? Why not? You could have been, you could have got 50 euros worth of the paint vouchers. Anyway, thanks for those who did enter and well done once again to Paul. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you again soon. This is Dom signing out. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. And even if you didn't, hit dislike. But please just explain why. Um, it'd be, it's really difficult to know when you get a dislike whether it, what, what the reason is. Um, maybe they just hate me, but maybe it's because you didn't like the subject, but it'd just be helpful to know. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you see when I put stuff up. Um, and if you're feeling, if you're feeling particularly generous, um, there's um, a Patreon page linked to the, to the channel, which helps me out um, when I'm trying to do stuff for the future. And also a link to some um, uh, merchandise like uh, t-shirts and so forth that uh, you might be interested in. So thanks for watching once again. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out. Mm -hmm.